Okay, uh, in this lesson, I want you to uh, start with a sentence um, that explains a linear function. Okay, and we're going to be working with the graph and the data table, and we're going to be com completing the slide. Um, every time you do something that's in blue, okay, that's going to be dealing with the slope. Every time you do anything that has to do with the color red, that's going to be the y-intercept. So I want you to really start to see those big ideas all over these problems. So we can get really, really good at it. Okay, so blue is slope, red is y-intercept. Okay, also these three pieces on the very left, and these are just above your slide. You just move your slide down, you'll see it. Okay, the three pieces on the left will go on your data table. Okay, the three pieces on the very right will go on your graph. And the red bar and the blue bar in the middle will go in your sentence. Okay, and keep in mind, everything that's blue is gonna be slope. Everything that's red is gonna be y-intercept. Okay, a little bit confusing. I think if we go through this problem, maybe this will help. Okay, let's look at this problem. Slope boy started with 20 pencils and he used up two pencils every day. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fill out the data table and uh, complete the graph and then go from there. Okay, so if he started out with 20 pencils, that means that day zero, he has 20. And day one, if he's using up two pencils every day, that means after a day goes by, he has 18 pencils. Day two, he's going to use up another two pencils, that's 16 total pencils. Day three, if he loses another two pencils, uses them up, he has 14 pencils. And then day four, he'd be down to 12. Okay, there's my data table. I'm going to show the same information on the graph. At zero days, notice the x-axis is days and the y-axis is pencils. Day zero, he's starting with 20 pencils. Okay, day one. He has 18. You're not going to get these perfect in the right spot. Just do the best you can. Uh, day two, 16. Okay, day three, 14. Okay, and day four, 12. Okay, and go ahead, um, find this, the, the line insert bar up there. Okay, click on it, click line, and see if you can get a picture of that line above the points. Like that, just let go of it. Okay, so I have my graph, I have my data table. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do everything in this graph in this problem, it has to do with slope, and I'm going to think blue, okay? So in blue, I'm, I'm thinking slope. That's all I'm thinking. Okay, slope is change. Okay, so looking at the sentence, the part of that sentence that has to do with change would be using up two pencils every day. So I'm highlighting that in blue. Um, change it with, my, with my data table. If I'm thinking about change with my data table, I'm going to look at two sets of points on my data table. It can be any two. They don't even have to be real close together. I'm just going to look at point one. I'm sorry, the second point and the third point. I'm going to put a little arrows because I'm thinking this. I'm thinking this. Uh, slope of a data table is change in Y over change in X. Okay, so if I look at my y values, I'm just going to go from 18 to 16. I'm going down two pencils. So my y change would be negative two, because it's down, pencils. Okay, my x data, okay, from one to two, I'm going up one. To get from one to two, I'm going up one day. 
Okay, so my change in x would be going up one day. I just want to simplify that a little bit. So negative two pencils over positive one days. Just take negative two divided by one, which is negative two. So my slope is negative two pencils per day. And remember, he's using up two pencils every day. That's my slope. Okay, I'm going to find my slope of my graph. Okay, graph, uh, the, gra the slope of a graph is rise over run. Okay, pick any two points and use your bars. To, to make this work with my bars, the points have to be close together. They can't be too spread out, too spread apart unless you want to enlarge the bars. But to travel from this point, hmm, it's going to be kind of covered up. We're going to make do. I'm going to try moving that point up a little bit so we can see this better. Okay, this isn't going to be perfect, guys, but we're going to do our best, best we can. Okay, to get from one point to another, okay, let's see. Okay, we're going to go over two. I'm trying to drag that other bar to show that I'm going down two. I'm sorry, down two over one. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to have to back up. Okay. Okay, there's my down two bar. I'm sorry, this isn't perfect. Okay, my down bar. Okay, I'm going down, down two pencils over one day. Okay, down two pencils over one day. So my slope, rise over run, my rise would be down two pencils. My run would be over one day. So it'd be negative two pencils over positive one day. Divide negative two by one. Okay, simplify it. Negative two pencils per day. So there's the same slope I had from the data table. It's the change, using up two pencils every day, and I'm almost done. I want to now put that slope in my equation. The slope in my equation will always go in front of the x. Okay, we've done everything in this, in this problem that has to do with slope change. Okay, now we're going to do everything in this problem that has to do with y-intercept, initial amount. Okay. So remember the left up here goes with the graph. The stuff on the right goes with the, uh, I'm sorry, the left goes with the data table. The right goes with the graph and the middle goes with the sentence. I'm going to look at the sentence first. Okay. Slope boy started with 20 pencils. Okay. The part of that problem that has to do with Y intercept, which is initial amount is that he's starting with 20 pencils. So that's red. Okay, look at my data table. The part that has to do with y-intercept, initial amount, is the point that shows the number across from zero. So zero comma 20. That 20 that's across from zero is showing the initial amount. Okay, on the graph, the initial amount, the y-intercept, okay, this is the y-axis, and that would be just highlighting over that y-intercept of 20. That's the initial 20 pencils. And then the last thing in your equation, oh, I'm sorry, over down here, just ask for the y-intercept. Type in 20 for the y-intercept from the graph and uh, the data table. Okay, and that 20 is in your equation at the end. Okay, so if you really work through these carefully, and you're going to see that everything in blue is slope, everything in red is y-intercept, and it's all the same thing. It's just looking at it just a little bit differently. Okay, we're going to do more of these in class, but I wanted this to uh, be here for quarantine kids, and if you want to go back and look at this again. Okay, please keep me posted if you need anything.